Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about rear wheel braking tips while we're riding, both standing and sitting. Stick around. Well, hey guys, it's January 24th when I'm recording this video and I've got blowing snow outside. It's super cold. You'll probably be watching this video in January. So I'm a little bit depressed. Maybe you guys can empathize a little bit. But today I wanted to talk about braking on our dirt bike, specifically the rear brake. I get enough questions about this over social media and email that I figured it's time to do an actual video on this. You'll notice I've got one riding boot on. I only have one riding boot. This is one of my old riding boots because I want to talk about rear wheel braking when we're riding. Now, I did one video a while back where it, one of my braking tips is to use your entire leg for braking, and that's, that's great if you're sitting down. If you're sitting down, because you, you, on this angle, you can't actually use your, use your ankle because your, your foot is already, your ankle is already flexed up, right? Like this would be toe pointed. I can't really do it, but that's pointing the toe. This is flexing on the way back. So when you're like this, your toe is already flexed. Your ankle is already flexed, so you can't actually break with very much dexterity, you have to use your entire leg like this, which is the good way to do it. But I want to bring up a point. This is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why I stand up almost all of the time when I'm riding my dirt bike. And I actually have better braking control when I'm standing than when, when I'm sitting on that rear brake. And I'll show you why. So when I'm standing up here, essentially I want to be kind of standing with, the, with my foot right on the ball of my foot right on the peg, right? I don't want to be too far forward, although you can be, generally speaking, but I will shift my foot forward a little bit when I want to brake. And the cool thing about this is I can just leave my weight right there, and then you'll notice that I slide my foot forward, I bring that toe in, and now I'm right on that brake. And now I've got perfect control of the brake, and I don't even have to de-weight that peg. I can still have all my weight on that peg and still just use my ankle to rock forward onto that, onto that brake as you see me doing here. I'll probably roll in a shot or two to let you actually see the movement up close. But some, some guys have said, well, I don't like braking. That's one of the reasons why I use like a left hand brake or something on my rear because I want to be able to still weight my peg. Dude, when you're standing up, which I'm standing 90% of the time, I can still weight the peg. See, look, I've got this foot off. I've got all of my weight on that right foot peg and I can still use a quite a bit of dexterity into my ankle there and actuate that brake. Now the thing that we want to do probably more and more is to control the rear brake so that we're not skidding the rear wheel. When you skid the rear wheel, I mean maybe you want to skid the rear wheel every now and again to get some traction or I mean to uh, steer with the rear wheel around a turn. But generally speaking, if you're braking traction by locking the thing up, you're actually losing braking power. It's the reason why cars have anti-lock brakes. The same principle applies here. And that when we're standing up on the bike, we can actually do that more, you know, put more of a finite movement into that thing so that we don't lock the rear wheel up, which is yet another reason to stand. I'm standing all the time, especially on like a really, really steep downhill. Uh, on a really steep downhill, you don't want to be sitting on the bike because it, your weight shifts forward. When you stand up, it allows you, and I can't really do it here, but it allows you to push your weight way back to kind of push off the put, foot pegs, you know, and, and then you're pushing off that foot peg and you've got your butt way back. You've got your arms completely locked and you can have your back, your center of gravity further up the bike, which is what you want when you're going down a hill. And then you still have that perfect ability to just you know, maybe put a little bit more weight on your left foot so that you can rock that ankle back and then float this one up here and do some really good pedal actuation while standing up. So there's a hundred reasons why you should be standing up most of the time if you're gonna do off-road slash enduro riding. And that's just another one. It's easier to brake. It's easier to use that rear brake. I'm probably standing up 95 to 90%, 95 to 97 percent of the time when I'm out there riding. Um, the only time I sit down is maybe in a transition section where I'm, I know I'm gonna be you know, resting or something like that, uh, but I try, to, I try to stay standing because it also conserves a lot, a, a lot of energy if I just stay standing. I know that your back can start to hurt, but you hinge at the waist, so go like this. Keep your back straight. That's what we wanna do is keep our back straight. We don't, we don't wanna be too bent over like this, you know, we want, we want to hinge at the waist and do have a good motion right here. And then we can use that 
ankle with the way this works to give some really finite braking input. That's gonna help a ton in your riding if you practice braking while standing up. It's way better for me than braking while sitting down. Obviously, if I'm coming into a corner, I wanna slide all the way up if I can, and then I'm gonna use the brake, but it's even hard to get the brake like that because I've skidded all the way forward. Most of my riding doesn't require me to sit on the, sit on the tank to do a turn, so I'll be standing all through almost all the corners out there, and I'll just be using the rear brake like this. Boom, really easy. Easier than doing it like this, but if you do have to sit down, let's use the entire leg to get that break. So, well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified when I put these videos out. Also, if I'm adding value to your life and you want to support me, there's a couple ways you can do it. I've got t-shirts and hats just like this one up on my website. I will be doing a dirt bike sweepstakes upcoming very soon in the March, April, May timeframe where I will be giving one or two dirt bikes away, maybe even more than two. Uh, this time so those are ways that you can support me you can also go to paypal right on my website i've got links where you can make a monthly donation amount on paypal or you can do it on patreon both ways work and i really really thank you guys so much anyway until next time let's leave a single track thanks guys